Hello and welcome to our channel. This is Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are continuing a route through the Washita National Forest. This section picks up where we left off at Poto Mountain area. This is the south side of Poto Mountain, entering back into the Washita National Forest, heading up on top of Walker Mountain. This is another beautiful area. This route does start on asphalt and you will turn south and head back into the forest. Walker Mountain, which is close to the middle of 1.5 million acres of Washita National Forest which provides hunting opportunities for white-tailed deer, eastern wild turkey, black bear, wild hog, and numerous other small game species, as well as access to an impressive network of ATV, hiking, and horseback riding trails that are operated and maintained by the United States Forest Service. Additionally, the Black Fork River provides recreation areas for swimming, fishing, kayaking, boating, and waterfowl hunting. Additionally, Broken Bow Lake Cedar Lake, Worcester Lake State Park, and Post Mountain Lake are only a short drive away. This is the first section as we entered this portion of the Washita National Forest. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos to be uploaded to our channel very soon. As we continue on this route, we will find more dispersed camping, a few mud holes, and some very beautiful scenic views. So stay tuned. We hope you enjoy this video and will continue to follow this adventure. Don't forget this route is live on the Onyx Off-Road app. So if you choose to follow our exact route, you can do so by downloading the Onyx Off-Road app and follow our Blue Trail Guide trails on their app. The road that leads to the top of Walker Mountain is a left turn off of the main section of road that we're traveling here. And as you go further up Walker Mountain, it turns into just a trail. And there's quite a bit of brush and stuff up there. Uh, we did not make it all the way to the end of this trail. I chose to turn around. Uh, we went a little over halfway of the trail and... Uh, it was getting pretty tight, so I chose to turn around while we still could because I didn't want to have to back out. And even where we were at, it was a pretty tight turnaround. But we got turned around, and then we went ahead and returned to the main section of road as we viewed uh, portions of Hinkle Lake. At the time that we was up there, I didn't know the name of the lake, but when we got some reception, I did pull it up and it said it was Hinkle Lake. So that is in this area also. And I say we continue this route, we find some awesome dispersed campsites. Now at this time of going through here, deer season is open and there were a lot of hunters set up in the dispersed campsites and, you know, doing their thing. So we just... Uh, rode through the forest roads and we didn't do a whole lot of exploring or hanging out so they could uh, you know do their thing and we didn't disturb them any more than we had to so again we appreciate y'all watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here it helps us a lot more than you think it does and uh, give us a big thumbs up interaction with the channel is always a good thing and it helps us grow Thank you very much. Hope you all have a great week and we will see you soon in our next video.
seven. We was actually up there and we turned around and came back because it just continued getting worse and the trail didn't go much further. So this is the top of Walker Mountain. So we called this section Walker Mountain. And I can't get it here. There's a big lake down there. I'm not sure which lake it is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, but we're gonna get some better views as we go out and I'll get some pictures.